hello and welcome in our previous video we had seen how to build data model and report in this video we are going to learn how to consume this report using soap web service let me switch over to this oracle documentation on bip report bi publisher web service so what we have to do is we have to use this report service visitor and consume this using any tool like soap ui and go for this run report operation what we have to give is we have to give the path for this learn bipreview.xdo so this will be path like this custom slash learning bip in my case it is custom slash learning bip okay, we have to give this path click on run and we will get the response something like this okay so this uh, response will be in base 64 format so what we have to do is we have to copy this to notepad copy this go to plugins click on meme and base 64 decode as you can see we are getting the date time from bip report if you guys don't know how to uh, add these plugins please check out my video on how to add plugins in notepad plus plus in, in which i have uh, given the details on how to enable the plugins in notepad plus plus we confirm that our bip report is working fine and we are able to retrieve the data okay that is in base 64 format we our next step is switch over to Oracle integration cloud and build the integration once you are into connection space click on create search for soap click on select give some meaningful name like bip report bip connection we want this as an invoke click on create provide the visual username password click on save and test the connection i have completed this bip report learning connection if you don't know how to create a SOAP connection, please check out my video on building SOAP web service using Oracle Integration Cloud. I will give the link in the card section. Our next step is to build an integration to consume this connection and get the report. So let's switch over to this integration tab. Click on create. Go for scheduled integration. Use some meaningful name. I'm giving BAP learning in. Click on create. Select this BIP learning con, use some name, BIP invoke, click on next. From here, you have to select the run report, click on next, click on keep all everything default, click on done, click on save, minimize, open this mapper, provide the details like this. Switch over to accessibility view. Expand the body. Run report. Go for request. Report request. Report absolute path. Create a target node. Size of data chunk download. Give it as minus one. For details on all those specifications, please check out the Oracle documentation. I will give the link in the description. Once we are done with filling all the details, click on validate. And close. As we are getting base 64 data, what we have to do is we have to write this base 64 data as a file in a staging directory. For that, we have to click on the flag icon, click the stage drop it over here and giving name as write file click on next make this as a write file specify the file name click on save exit click on output directory give some name which will be available only for the instance runtime so download click on save exit click on next do you want to specify make this as xsd and we have to give the opex schema over here choose the file i have selected the opex schema over here if you don't know what is opex schema it is nothing but it is having one element like opec element after i base 64 binary you can build an opex schema like this if you need i can i will provide the opex schema definition in the description box check the details once done click on next click on done now what we have to do is we have to read this that is base 64 data 
now what we have to do is we have to again go for the stage activity and read the file drop it over here click on next read the file give the reference what we can do is we can give the reference of the right file operation which will be available under ICS file click on save exit next next here we have to give the csv file csv file is nothing but this one for that purpose i will save the file and upload i uploaded the csv file give this record record set comma this is fine make first column as a column header is fine click on next and done now what it is doing is we are getting the bip report we are writing into the staging directory from staging we are trying to read the file now we have not uh, mapped the base 64 data what we get from bip report to this write file click on the mapper click on to edit what we have to do is from the bip response we have to map this run report report bytes sorry click on validate the report bytes is the one wherein we get base 64 data Close. this error is because we have not added the business identifier add the business identifier save and activate the integration my integration got activated to learn how to build all those integrations please check out my videos in which we have covered in depth like how to build this ftp integration build your rest based integration soap based integration formatting of uh, dates date time and stuff like that once done we can run this integration and check the details uh, if your instance is unable to authenticate you with the uh, soap headers then what we have to do is in the request we can add this uh, username and password and try to map the details okay which, which will be over here passing the username and the password with which we write login to bip provided this user should have the uh, necessary uh, authorization to fetch the report Thank you for watching this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe the channel.